So a lot of people are confused about the Amber story and how it came about and, and everything. And so I'm going to make this video for people that are looking up the Amber story, the movie, not the actual story story like the true story because I don't really know the true story. I just know the movie that was on Lifetime and so I, I have the hiccups. I tried to get rid of them. It is what it is. This guy is the guy that kidnapped Nicole, I think her name was in the movie. And you guys are getting confused because this person right here only has clips from the movie, not the whole movie. And I don't know how to find the whole movie, but you can find a lot of Lifetime movies on on YouTube, so that's pretty cool, but the little girl, let me see if I can find, that, that's the little girl that they, that he kidnapped, there's no clips of the reason why this movie was made, him taking her, her surviving, and people are getting so confused, thinking that it's called the Amber story, they think this little girl's name is Amber, and she's the one that died, they're like, yeah, it's 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 funny how in the movie they made they made it so it looked like she survived, but in real life she didn't survive. She was killed. Mm. You're thinking of the actual Amber person. This isn't the actual Amber person. So what I'm trying I'm trying to watch Catfish too from last night. I'm trying to catch up. Last night was all Big Brother stuff, but the Amber story. Let's talk about it. The Amber story was this little girl who the movie. The movie starts out with this little girl is is uh, starts out with this little girl. I think. I don't know, there was two stories because one story, I can't remember if there's the same story. I know there was a kid that, and I think it was Amber, who was riding her bicycle and then <laughs> she got kidnapped from the bicycle and then I don't know if that's the little girl that they came to her and told her she died. <laughs> And that was Amber, and then her mom was like, I'm going to come up with this. And, that's, and, and this is how the Amber Alert was made, too, to save other children from getting kidnapped, too. So that other children don't get kidnapped for this, for this reason. So basically what happened was, there's two stories in, into one, which is really confusing. And I hate when movies do that. I hate when movies, um, I hate when movies do a story in a story. So they have two different stories going on. So people can't, uh, focus and understand what's going on. What they sh should have done was they should have told the Amber Alert story of how the Amber Alert came about. Then go to the next story which would have been probably like a part two of the story of the little girl getting kidnapped and being saved by the Amber Alert. Because what happened was this little Nicole girl, she um, was getting babysit by that old man that I showed you. He was the babysitter <laughs> and while the mom went, went to work, he would never let the little girl, uh, the mother go in inside the house to see what a creep he was being inside the house with her. Her daughter would always have to come outside of the house. But for what, but I can't remember because it's been a while since I've seen this movie. But the mother somehow got into the, the house to get her daughter one time. I don't know how she got that to happen. But she saw dolls and toys 
toys and dresses, things all over the house. He always kept buying her dress dresses, kept buying her all these things, and he would have pictures of her and artwork of her that she done at the house all over the walls. And her daughter was a shy, quiet girl, so she didn't know how to... She didn't know that it was wrong for what this guy was doing. And some of you are saying, well, why didn't she try to climb out the window when she went to the bathroom? Why didn't she scream when she was at the ice cream store? And what? And yes, it is kind of weird that an ice cream store had dresses, but... Anyways, and I think it's because she's a shy girl... And she didn't know how to ask for help. She was probably scared and worried that if she tried to ask for help, he might make up some kind of thing. Oh, I'm her grandpa. She just doesn't like me because she misses her mommy and wants to go home. So she's making this up, you know. You don't know how kids are type of thing. So she probably was, you know... So, so when you, you could be like me when you watch movies, put your mindset in the characters and go with what you think the characters are thinking at the moments when things are happening. So I put my mind into that child on why she didn't do the things she did. So, and she also probably thought he was going to kill her for getting him, trying to get him in trouble. So... Basically, how the, if you don't know how the Amber Alert works, is right when a... Usually the rule is, when someone has been kidnapped or missing, for tw missing, they cannot put it out there onto the... Comp they can't tell the news crews, they can't put it on TV, they, the cops can't do anything until it's been 24 hours. It has to be 24 hours before they can do anything. Well, with the... With this Amber Alert, it helps that when a child is kidnapped right away, doesn't matter the situation, the Amber Alert goes on the people's phones, the computers, the TVs, everything. There's a scroll that says, hey, Amber Alert, kid's just been kidnapped. She looks like this. She was wearing this. Can you... If you identify her, let us know. Because in that 24 hours, if they waited that long, the kid could be dead. And I know, in my opinion, that should be true for all ages. They should do this Amber Alert for all ages. For anybody that is missing and not have, wait, say, well, this is only for kids. This person's a teenager or an adult adult so they're not considered a kid so you have to wait 24 hours so stupid and then the first thing they expect they the cops can't even find the parents because the first thing they expect is oh my god the parents probably did it the parents probably killed her and pretended it was a kidnapping or if there was a separate you know, a divorced family, they're probably like, oh, the father did it, the father did it. He he wanted to kill her. So they expect those people right away. When in reality, family members had nothing to do with it. <laughs> so that's why they should look at all options. But anyways, back to the movie. Sorry to confuse you guys again. She... She gets into the house and she saw that stuff and she tells Glenn, that's the old man's name, Glenn. You, um, what the hell is going on here? This, she knew something was wrong and thought it was creepy and said, You are no longer allowed to see my daughter. Don't call us, don't come over, just leave us alone. I don't like what you're doing here and stop buying her things. And she thought that was the end of it. Well, she didn't know that she was putting her daughter in danger when she should have just called the cops right away to investigate him because what happened next was one night while the daughter, her daughter was sleeping, 
he break, somehow figures out a way to break into their house and kidnap their daughter, her daughter. She heard something and she woke up and found out her daughter was gone through the back door of their house. And that's when they put the Amber Alert out right away after she called the police. And they found him and she lived. Now you guys keep saying in those clips that I was showing you that she, no, 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 this isn't true. She died, she died, she died, she died. <coughs> no, that was Amber who died. The girl in the clips or another girl named Nicole. What the person should have did that was putting just the clips out instead of the whole movie, which I don't know why they didn't just put the whole movie out, is they should have put in the description and explained that they, this is Nicole. This is the girl that got saved by the Amber Alert, not Amber herself. Because they didn't really show in depth the Amber story and how she got kidnapped, where she was found, and all that stuff. They just showed a glimpse of her getting kidnapped, took a glimpse of them telling the parents, your daughter's been found dead. And that's when the mother came up with a system to save every other child out there to not get killed again. God, I'm, I just found another cut on my finger. I was like, why is my thumb always hurting? And then I realized, there's a cut. Hmm, that's what work does to you. Anyways, so that's the Amber story. That's the review of that movie and what happens in that movie. And I don't know how you can find that movie. I mean... If you have the channel Lifetime, just keep checking Lifetime until they show it. Because they're always showing old movies like that on TV. Um, if you're lucky, maybe you could buy it on Amazon or something. Or maybe net try Netflix. I don't know. I've never tried. You could try um, TVGuide.com and typing in the name and just keeping alert out on when it's on keep checking out so often yet you know you never know so but it's a really good movie and it has a lesson and I love these movies on Lifetime where they teach a lesson and teach people how the system works like a child of rage they teach you how that works the girl from Drop Dead Fred, the little girl from Drop Dead Fred is in that. And she has rage. A child, or dangerous child. Um, there's Baby for Sale. There's I Didn't, uh, Switched at Birth. Um, that's a good one. And a bunch of others. You just have to find them. If you want to know about any more Lifetime movies that are good to watch and what they're about, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to talk about them with you. Till then, I will talk to you later. Later haters!